It's Monday morning, Monday afternoon. What does that mean? It's time for a Monday Night Raw preview. It is the last show before WWE Money in the Bank. Of course, it to take place in London. We're going to the United Kingdom, damn it. And uh, what's going to happen on tonight's show? Well, let's see what's going to happen. Of course, probably going to have a lot of people on this show that aren't even going to feature at uh, Money in the Bank because that's what SmackDown's doing here. If you're not willing to fly to London, we'll give you all your title matches and then some on the last show. Of course, the women's Money in the Bank match consists of Selena Vega, Becky Lynch, Bailey, Isle Sky, uh, Zoe Starks, and Trish Stratus. So, yeah, Bailey's match was supposed to be up for grabs on SmackDown, but then Finney Max grabbed it. Apparently, we're going to see a women's su uh, summit. Well, we're just going to have women sitting on top of the ladders I really do not know what's going to happen there I really do not know what's going to happen so only time will tell um, probably, going to have, probably going to have similar for the men as well, I don't know, I think like the first year they did it with like Jericho on top of the ladder it was kind of funny but who really cares now, uh, Tommaso Ciampa though what is going to be next for him of course, we're probably gonna we're gonna get a rematch between him and the Miz. Not that I'm really too bothered, but the Miz, of course, issued his own challenge. But Finn's changed this, so apparently Champa was supposed to come out and accept the challenge of Rollins and lose. Is it not much better for Champa to come back and win? But all the marks, they oh, they hate Finn McMahon. Finn McMahon, you bastard! How dare you? How dare you do that to my beloved Tama Tabasco sauce? Come on, man! Come on! Don't do it! Don't do it, Tabasco! Tabasco sauce! What are you doing, big man? Who gives a fuck? Right, anyway. Well, Raw, will it be made official tonight that Gunther and Matt Riddle will compete at Money in the Bank? Who knows, but at the same time, man, it's just a wee bit... It is a wee bit dug me, damn it. It's just no that interesting, if I'm being honest, Matt Riddle. I don't care that he broke one member of Imperium's leg or arm or whatever. I don't care if Ludwig Kaiser jobs out to him every week. I don't care about Gunther's year-long, 15-month-long, however long it's been title reign. I don't care about this feud. I just don't care about it whatsoever. So if this match is made official, whoop they do So, of course, um, Rhea Ripley battered Natalia next, or last week. And then apparently there are actually there's potential talk about Rhea Ripley and Natalia having a match at Money in the Bank. I'm just not looking forward to that. Really not looking forward to that if that does happen. I mean, what's going to be the difference for what happened last week when she just gave her a beat down? Match didn't even begin. What's going to be the difference for when she fought her at uh, the Saudi show and she just got buried? There's going to be no difference. That's the difference. There is no difference, man. No difference whatsoever. Uh, we're going to get... Cody Rhodes and Dominic Mysterio probably going to have one like final face-off on Raw before Money in the Bank. People burying, oh, Cody Rhodes, why did he leave AEW? This is why Jay White went to AEW. Wait, wait, he's getting a match against Dominic Mysterio. Oh, aye, it's fucking awful. No, no, the thing is, the people in AEW wish they could attract the heat Dominic Mysterio has. I'm not saying Dominic Mysterio is the greatest guy fucking ever, like, but the guy is a, the guy is a good heel. The guy is a good heel. He can fucking... Uh, and he can work. He's not like these gymnasts over in fucking AEW where all the days flips. At least the guy can actually get legit heel heat at the end of the day. So, yeah, we'll have one wee final face-off, so to speak. And damn it, yeah. Of course, Seth Rollins and Finn Balor are going to have... Um, probably more build-up towards what's going on here. But apparently... Bailey could still be getting removed from the money in the bank. I don't know what the obsession is with Bailey getting removed, but I mean, I'm, I'm not the only person talking about it. Quite a lot of people, in fact, talking about it. I mean, I guess the fact that we're actually building that match up at the pay per view kind of tells you that they uh, were thinking of doing that. So, only time will really tell in that regard. But at the end of the day, guys, that is where we're going to leave you here. Raw looks particularly bleak this week, it really does uh, Vince McMahon will probably make a few late changes which is going to cause people to fucking cry about it, but guess what, we don't care what the marks have to say because this is fog wrestling, and no matter how 
you know, how, 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 matter how much hate we get for all the indie fanboys, we're going to continue to speak the truth. Make sure you check out everything else on the channel. But until next time, Fog Wrestling is signing out. Oh, hell yeah.